Cammie Bodner and Jana Pierce are pioneers, a new breed of Armstrong students. Though at 7 a.m. in the morning, they probably don't feel like it. There is a degree of stress when you walk in the door because you may not know what's going on, you may not know what case loads are up on the board, and you know, you never know what to expect. She has no known allergies. We only start with 100, right? Today they're miles from campus, learning and working at a local hospital, Memorial University Medical Center. This clinic experience for us is kind of like a job interview. When we walk in that door in the morning, we're on and we have to be on until we leave at the end of the day because they will be our references when we go out to look for jobs. They will soon become the first graduating class in an innovative degree track called Cardiovascular Interventional Science. Using the latest in non-invasive techniques, these students assist in the process of guiding a small tube called a catheter through the body of patients to treat and diagnose various illnesses. Good job with the right ventricular hypertrophy, the RV and the LV. So you're Before starting their hospital experience, Cammie and Jana spent countless hours in the classroom. Now it's for real. Because it weights it down a little bit. We only started with 100, right? With everyone wearing scrubs and masks, it's hard to tell the students from the professionals. That's Cami on the right. Jana stands by as a circulator. My job description included giving out medications and you know, passing off any equipment that was needed for the case itself. In this particular procedure, Debbie was my preceptor and she's always very helpful. Do like that, get as much of the air out as you can and then just place those up there for him. I enjoy working with preceptors that are interested in helping us succeed and she really does. On the job training is the best, best way to learn here. I mean, you know your anatomy and you know the basics before you come here, but as far as the catheters, the wires, this is probably the prime area to work in. They kind of keep us on our toes. Daniel's 60, we used 40 ways that we're expected to bring our textbooks to clinic. Let's use this one for our sheath. We're expected to study up on procedures that are upcoming. About one and a half cc's. He needs a little enough to ask right back a little bit with. You know, they do kind of get upset with you if you're not on top of your game and trying to keep everything and run as smoothly as possible. Okay, we're finished with the procedure. And we had a, a sheath in her femoral artery. We have to hold pressure on it for about 20 minutes. And then she'll get to go back up to her room and recover. All right, we're going to have to keep your head flat like this for probably about five hours. I'm just going to elevate your head up just a little bit, sweetie. And you can bend up this left leg. I really enjoy interacting with the patients. We are dealing with real people, and you know, that person could be my sister or my mother or my grandmother, and I always try to keep that in mind about how I would want to be treated if they were in that position. She's doing great. She's a little sleepy right now, but she did great during the whole procedure. At the end of every day, I'm tired. But at the end of every day, I'm also happy when I feel like I did a good job. It, it can be trying emotionally and definitely physically, but it's also rewarding. The research symposium, it's a summation of all these things that we've learned. It's taken approximately a year, year and a half to complete our research part of it and to be able to put it on a poster and take it and present it to the community. That was our basically our last step before graduation. What makes this degree track so innovative is quite simple. It's one of the first bachelor's degree tracks in the nation that trains students in two areas, angiography and cardio caths. Currently, hospitals have to cross train staff to work in these departments because college graduates don't enter the workplace with experience in both. Cammie and Jana are about to change all that. They can either go into vascular or into cardiac, which makes them very, very marketable, very versatile, and uh, probably can go in any lab and almost demand that they be, that they be hired. I feel that Armstrong has prepared me for this field. I definitely think we're being prepared for the real world. Half of our time spent in this program is in the real world, so I think we'll be well prepared once we get done. Graduation day finally arrives. A significant phase of their lives comes to an end. It's the beginning of a new era for them and for Armstrong's new program. I'm very privileged to be a part of the first graduating class. I think it's been an adventure for everyone. I feel like there's only nine of us in this class. We've got kind of a close-knit group. It's like a little family. I love it. I don't think I could have picked a better major. We're graduating! 
Okay, we're done. I'm kind of excited to see see myself out there in the position that these preceptors are one day where I can actually be in the position to teach somebody what I know. No more than a few weeks after graduation, Cammie and Jana found employment in area hospitals.